whether or not inflation remains elevated uh, or, or ends up being elevated meaningfully relative to what we experienced is really a choice by the central bank. The, the question is not whether or not there will be inflation pressures as this plays out. There will be inflation pressures that will emerge as a function of this. The question is, you know, how much inflation is going to be taken versus how much is the Fed and, and the central bank going to uh, and other central banks going to basically keep a lid on that inflation by keeping interest rates high and suppressing demand in that context. And so you don't know which one it'll be. So you kind of want to be positioned for both of them. I think one of the key things that, um, you know, it's a it's a particularly uh, large flip from the era the era of zero interest rates and unlimited money supply that many businesses and investment strategies, frankly, have been built on. So if you're mm -hmm. a venture capitalist or a private equity manager, like it has been a great 15 years, um, but uh, but it may well be quite a challenging next 15, um, which we're just at the start of, if you're reliant on, you know, zero interest rates and unlimited liquidity in an environment where we have, you know, this amount of infrastructure rebuilding and elevated inflationary pressures.